and you're listening to Frey. Starting right now. Here's your host, Alfredo Leo. Back as Alex Bowman got his first win in a NASCAR Cup Series on Sunday at Chicago Land Speedway, when he had a terrific performance for Hedrick Motorsports in Joliet, Illinois. Bowman had one of the fastest cars during practice, and the strength of his 88 Exalta Chevrolet showed after the race was delayed by summer storm. He had just seven, six top five finishes and 133 starts on NASCAR's, in NASCAR's top series before he got the W on Sunday. He also finished in positions 2 to 43 before he finally pulled through in, in that one. Here is Bowman speaking on what it was like to get that first win and more courtesy of NBCSN. That's all I've wanted my whole life, you know. I feel like this is a lot of validation for a lot of people that said we couldn't do this. So, um, so proud of everybody at Hendrick Motorsports, Exalta, the Hendrick Engine Shop. My guys have worked so hard. Um, we struggled so bad last year in the beginning of this year. And, man, I had questions if uh, Mr. H was going to let me keep doing this. Everybody, all the rumor mills. But um, to be here winning a race in the Cup Series just means so much. Um, just couldn't do it without these guys. My pick crew's the best pick crew on pit road. And uh, this is all I've ever wanted. Bowman was also asked on how he was able to regroup and get by Larson after Larson passed him and more. Also on NBC, I said. I just tired of running second. I don't want to do that anymore. So, uh, you know, I feel like this is the last box aside from uh, going and chasing a championship that I needed personally for myself to valid validate my career. Um, you know, I feel like obviously there's a lot more left to accomplish, but uh, this is always what I hear is you haven't won a race. So uh, I think even Chad said something about me not winning a race. So Chad and House, there we went and did it. Uh, everybody can stop giving me crap. We finally did it. After he celebrated by doing a bird out, Bowman also got his car stuck in the grass since it was wet due to the rain which delayed the race a number of hours. Here's what he said about getting his car stuck in the grass. I'm stuck. I'm, I, I made a really bad life choice and came down here in the dirt and forgot about the rain today. So, um, yeah, I don't, they're going to have to tow me out. It, like, it's not going anywhere. So uh, I'm the dumb guy that won the race and got the car stuck in the mud. Kyle Larson put together another memorable run a year after he lost an epic last lap duo, duel with Kyle Busch on the same track. Larson passed Boma with about seven laps left, but Bowman quickly got the lead back and found a way to hold off Larson at the end. Here's what Larson said about getting to Bowman and more, courtesy, also courtesy of NBC, I said. Yeah, I could see him uh, struggling when I was getting to him, and when I got by him, I was like, all right, good. You know, he's gonna be in my dirty air and, and get loose, and um, he just, he could get big runs on me um, down the straightaways, and, and I think that allowed him to, to get that run into one. And then uh, he got to me inside, and I got a little bit tight. I don't know if you know him getting air on my spoiler or something got me tight, but uh, I had to kind of breathe it a little bit, and um, then we side drafted on the back stretch. So I wish I would have maybe done some things different into three instead of going all the way to wall, maybe chase him to the bottom to try and hang on his quarter, but you know, he might have cleared me anyways down there. But um, yeah, I wish I could have got a win for McDonald's and, and got them in victory lane, but um, still a good day, a great day for Chevy and, and Hendrick Engines. That was that was really cool to see um, a lot of us Hendrick guys, Hendrick Engine guys, you know, up front and kind of drafting and breaking away from the, the groups behind us on the short runs. So um, I felt good about my car on the long runs. Um, you, know, If I was out in clean air, um, I think we just had a lot of downforce and drag in our car, so I just felt slow and clean air, but when I could get behind people, I was okay, and then could just you know wait until we got laps on tires and I could start you know making ground so um, was actually surprised I even got to him I thought when he came out you know, about the same distance off pit road in front of me um, I thought he, you know, he was just gonna check out but um, you know, like I said he was struggling and uh, we were able to get to him and get by him but he did a good job uh, he did a good job regrouping and, and figuring out how to make his car drive better and uh, got the win so cool to uh, see him get the win there um, would have liked for him to have to wait another week or so, but um, happy for him. Um, he's an open wheel guy, so cool to see. Joy Legato finished third, followed by Jimmy Johnson and Brad Keselowski. Here's what Johnson said about his performance and more 
also on NBCSN. And just a, a solid performance for our ally team. Uh, really proud of everyone. Um, I just couldn't clear the four car when he was still on track in the car to beat, and I think he was probably the strongest car tonight. Um, the way some of those restarts unfolded, the 88 had a great opportunity with, with the draft and worked it very well and got to the lead. And once he had that control, there was really no taking it from him. So I'm uh, extremely happy for Hendrick Motorsports. Can't wait to see Alex and congratulate him. And then uh, this 48 team smiling. It's good, it's good night. After Kozlowski, here's the rest of the top 10. Six, Ryan Blaney, his teammate, and Ted T. Penske driving the 12 car. Eric Jones, seventh, driving the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. William Byron finishing 8th, driving the 24 car for Edging Moore Sports. Martin Truex Jr. finishing ninth, driving the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. Austin Dillon running out the top 10, finishing there in the 3 car for Chichilis Racing. It was also Hendrick's second victory of the season. It placed four drivers in the top 11, where Chase Elliott finished respectively. The next Cup Series race will be the Coke 0400 on Saturday, July 6th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. At Daytona International Speedway, Daytona Beach, Florida, with coverage being on NBC. Bowman the Showman, he finally was able to pull through after not being able to win before. How many second finishes place finishes he's had? Saying he's tired of finishing second, the finish second again to Brad Keselowski at Kansas Speedway, where he almost won that one when Keselowski passed the blade. Bowman was just smarter this time, knowing based on past experience what to do and the fact that he got by Larson that was incredible I did not think when Larson got by him that Bowman would be able to come back and be like oh no another coulda woulda shoulda for that win but he did come back and good for him give him credit though as he's been to a lot of his career driving for really small teams and not good equipment and the fact is he ended up subbing for Dale Hart Jr. in 2016 after his injury and he did well when he filled in for Junior as he started on the pole at Phoenix. And as a result, he wound up getting the ride after Junior retired in 2017. So good for Bowman to finally pull through, especially with his sponsor nationwide. Leaving after the season, they made an announcement there. This win is definitely going to help get sponsors attracted to Bowman for Bowman. So this is a good move here. And definitely a great move from Hedrick looking back now, picking Bowman to replace Dale Hart Jr. And that was definitely a good move. And good for him. And definitely nice that he got the win, even though the celebration was kind of incredible for sure. I mean, but the thing is, though, he did him celebrating at the grass, not realizing the rain happened. Actually, that's crazy stuff right there. And But still, though, he was able to celebrate regardless, though. And great for him. And But Kyle Larson, though, tough that second year in a row now that, he was unable to win after the incredible finish year ago with uh, Kyle Busch and the Dale Jr. Like, side jump! Side jump! And uh, yeah, that was just a great call there. And as a result, Larson was unable to win and also unable to get McDonald's their first win in 25 years, 1994, since the last time they did win a NASCAR with Jimmy Spencer and Dick Tal Talladega, if I'm not mistaken. And so he was not able to get McDonald's a win. And also he's been he's been winless since Richmond in 2017. So he's not been able to win as well. But a good run for also Jimmy Johnson. He needed that. Especially being close to the bubble and uh, the playoff standings. I think he was one point out. Uh, Eric Jones was in uh, 16th. And Johnson was one point out, I think. And Newman, Ryan Newman was close too. And now with all the stage points he accumulated at Chicagoland, he's now in the, I think he's 13 or 14 points now. He's... In the playoffs now, so good run for him. He needed this, and if he could keep it going, he could possibly end up back in victory lane. I mean, he's not won since Dover 2017, and if he could keep putting more runs like this, especially now that Chevy and Hendrick, they figured out the Camaro, this could be a good side for them moving forward, trying to get more wins, and hopefully for them, they could be able to get back to victory lane for the 48. And Jimmy, he's not won since then, and... This would be a great confidence booster for him, so let's see if he can keep it going. But congratulations to Bowman for him to get the win. Bowman the Showman. He can still be, that's his nickname. He's still probably Bowman the Showman, but now he can be Bowman the Showman in victory lane. <laughs> that's a good one for him. And, and as a result, now he's proven that he can be the right driver driving the 88 car, especially like I said with Nationwide leaving and everything. So, but good win for him. And definitely the finish was incredible as well, kind of like last year with. But Bowman not giving up, even though like he was stuck in traffic a lot, uh, and Larson was just keep eating into that lead. And 
Oh, and passed him too. Like I said, it almost pulled it off. But good for Bobe though to to learn like his lesson from Kansas and come back and win. So kudos to him and congratulations to him for him winning and definitely give him more confidence going forward that he got that monkey off his back and now he he could say he's a cup winner and, and I have to worry about that finishing second anymore without getting a win and he he's got the win now. So congratulations to him. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you are brand new subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.